Bueller. Bueller. So do you want me to give the story? Okay, well, welcome back. Um, today we're going to uh, listen to a song called The Way by Fastball. Band from Austin, Texas. And so the story goes like this. They were looking at inspiration for their second album. Okay. And this story broke. And it's about an elderly couple that got into their vehicle. One was reco recovering from brain surgery. Okay. The other one, the wife, was suffering some dementia. Okay. And they were driving and was stopped, I think it's Salado, when it was getting dark for not driving with their lights on. So policemen stopped them. They were very apologetic. They turned their lights on. He let them on their way. Their family didn't know where they were. They found their vehicle at the bottom Ooh. of a 25 foot cliff in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Whoa. And they were deceased. This is what the song is about. Okay. They made up their minds and they started backing. They left before the sun came up that day. An exit to eternal summer slacking. But when There's a vibey part that does kind of fit, kind of like that ominous, mysterious story, right? Anyone could see the road.
like a 50s rockabilly kind of thing. Yeah. Isn't that interesting that they kind of finished that off with uh, a little extra part there? Diving oh, off of the yeah. building that's about 30 foot tall. Just like they did. Well, they made it seem like they did it on purpose. Almost a Thelma, like, Thelma and Louise kind of thing. Where they kind of were like, you know, we're getting old. Let's mm -hmm. just go look at the sunset and interpret. That's what I'm interpreting. Me too. The ending wasn't tragic. The ending was like. Like, this is what they wanted. Well, yeah, you'll never get old. And so the backstory to expand a little bit more on this yeah. is interviewing the family. This was their second marriage okay. in and of themselves. And when they got together, the wife was all about, let's go, let's go, let's do these things. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> if you like what we're doing here, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Helps grow the channel. You know how that goes. And it gives us opportunities to provide more of this type of content to you. It's kind of like they, they, they actually gave that personality to the song about the the streets are paved with gold you know exactly. and the shadows are wandering off somewhere and they really don't care they're not going to make it home but they don't care yeah. and it's like it, it's it's to me it's an ode to their adventure adventurous nature right, right. it ended tragically for them and for their families but that's probably what they love to do that's how I was thinking. There was no like foul play or anything like that. It was more like the freedom of what they were doing. They weren't lost. They might, they were like found. Yeah. And hopefully they are somewhere Yeah. where it's sunny and they never get cold. They never get hungry. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Thelma and Louise element. Yeah. Where they grab hands and just, and I think was it Gina Davis that just said, keep going. Right. Keep going. Right. And, phew, and that's how it ends. I wasn't expecting that vibe, but it really came across. Right, Tug? Yeah. Totally did. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, and you it was know. It's much this, more peaceful. This is one of those songs that you, you know the words to the song if you've heard it enough. Mm -hmm. And it's like, it's catchy. And then you know where I heard about this, that this is the inspiration? <laughs> if y'all have ever watched Mr. Ballin, he does st stories, okay. storytelling, the, the strange and the mysterious and all that. Yeah. No freaking way. <laughs> and so I had to listen to the song again and research the backstory, and that's what it is. Kind of straight up Texas tale. Yeah. All right. Not near as creepy as I thought. I feel like they, they wrote the song and presented it in like a nice way, you know? Yeah. They, they could have made it way darker and way more sad. I, I feel like they Absolutely. gave it a good, like, kind of down the middle and peaceful kind of. Well, what about know? the song itself? I mean, it's a good song. It is kind of creepy in itself, the way it, the guitars are kind of layered in. Darn, darn, the, darn, reverb, darn. the reverb that's in there, mm -hmm. and yeah. The rockabilly part, but 50s music I, reminds me of like storytelling that way. Yeah. And that's kind of what they incorporated. It was funky enough, got very very much a Texas sound to it. Yeah. Okay? Funky meaning the guitar was, darn, 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 you know, yeah, how, how they were doing. Stevie Ray. Exactly. Blues mixed with country, mixed with... Uh, uh, you know, Texas rock that always kind of walks that line. Yeah. Telling a really positive story. It made it feel more like a, um, yeah, a really interesting tale that did have, you know, streets paved with gold. Like, wasn't tragic. It was like a tale you can just continue to. But the opening scene down. of the video <laughs> with that yoga hip thrust thing, I was, that kind of yeah. threw me off. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, what did you just say? Now there's a, yeah, it's like, okay. But it's kind of interesting because it, it, just like this scene where it's all black and white and kind of sad and raining. Yeah. It's kind of like introducing you to like the idea, just like how you introduced us to the story where it's like kind of sad. And then in the, in the video, it gets all colorful and like they're having fun and meeting people along the way. So it, I don't know, it kind of just ties into what you're saying. Like they're just going on an adventure. Not looking back. Yeah, because the story is being lost on that road. This was they were just finding people. It was a party on the road mm -hmm. as they were going. Really good, man. Really good. Retro vibe to it. I dug it. Good. Dub? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. All right, fastball today. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next time on the show. Bye.